Jerry Tuff, Realtor at Personal Real Estate Corporation with Mountain Town Properties. I'm based in Invermere, BC, and let's talk about some real estate statistics. Here we are at the beginning of July, so we've got the fresh numbers to the end of June. And uh, I noticed for myself that I had a lot of new listings in June, uh, some great listings that are out there, but it was quiet for buyers. There was not a lot of sales personally. And so I was curious to see the actual numbers and uh, the numbers for the entire valley from Canal Flats all the way to Spill Machine, including Invermere, Radium, Fairmont Hot Springs, Panorama. For the entire month of June 2024, there were 32 sales. Now, when we look at what the five-year average is, a uh, five-year average normally for June puts us at uh, 53 sales. And when we even compare it to May, um, 32 sales for June is not very many. Compared to 2023, there was 52. So that means we're down 38.46% compared to the same month last year. However, we can have situations where there's different cutoffs between the you know, timing of the month and it's hard to make a, a real conclusion of the market based on one month of activity. So when we look uh, at the year to date from January 1st until the end of June, uh, for this year we're at 240 sales. For the same time in 2023, we are at 253 sales. So similar, down about 5%. Uh, but when you look at uh, two years ago, we're actually down 34, almost 35% from two years ago. So it is interesting to see that. Um, and listings are up. So at the end of June, we're at 474 active listings. And uh, that's up 17.62% from the same time in 2023. And up 48% for the amount of inventory available two years ago. But as I've mentioned before, uh, Although there's more listings, and, and this number of listings includes building lots and fractional units and all different types of properties, there are very, very few homes for sale in the core of Invermere, and also not much selection in Windermere, Timberidge, Akiskanook, Terra Vista. These hot spots that have lake access have very limited inventory, and there's been a lot of pressure on that recreational product. A lot of pressure also on single-family homes in Invermere. And, um, what seems to be slower right now is the real properties. You look at some of the properties in Fairmont, Fairmont South, you look at Radium, Radium North into Edgewater. Uh, there are more listings in those areas and they are not selling quickly. So it's an interesting market. And uh, what's uncertain is kind of what July and August is gonna bring. So one question is whether or not people are waiting to see if there's going to be more interest rate decreases before they potentially pull the trigger and buy into the market. Uh, the other situation that we're seeing is a lot of people who are looking to um, buy a property, whether it's a, a lateral move kind of in the valley to a different property, or it's someone trying to move here, is they often have to sell their home before they can buy another one, which can create a bit of a domino effect where you're waiting for multiple properties to sell to see if uh, those transactions go through. Uh, so it's kind of unclear what's going to happen in the future here, but uh, there are some good options out there and type of property you're looking for, connect with a buyer's agent, connect with someone who can get you um, kind of top of the list as far as when they hear about new listings and can react quickly and, and get you prepared. And uh, I have capacity right now to take on some more buyers and I'm happy to help if you have any questions about the market. And uh, thank you very much.